the ladies dropped oh, in. Oh, ladies. Oh, keen. But we're going to get this first wall rebate going or not? Well, we'll see. I don't Looks know like if there's no got it. So Puppy in. Big backside 5-0. Keeping a speed round that bold corner. Front side 50-50. We're going to see this alley and bear straight off the back. No, just go with the back to back. Front side back. Yeah. Lizzie powering off that extension. I saw him make a backside air on that earlier today. Yeah. And it was so, so oh. good. What do we have? This is Brighton Tony right now. Nice Cheeky front side air. Front side air there into our extension. Backside 50-50. Seems like some of the women's. Uh, final competitors are just still kind of trying to find their feet a little bit on this one, Greg. Yeah, 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 that's true. Still finding the marks. Hmm. See, we don't have the, the consistency we've seen before in the series. So, but talking about come. finding their feet, Chris Cote, how are your feet doing down there on the platform, mate? I'm doing good. I feel like there was a little bit of confusion for all the girls right from the get-go. Usually these jams start off like an explosion. But in that one, you kind of had, you know, that check. Do I go? Am I going? And uh, now you can start to see people start to build momentum, get the rhythm going. A lot of slams already in this final. I think NDR has already slammed a couple times. So hopefully things will start to clean up. Four minutes, 15 seconds to go. Yeah, as it is our very first women's division here at the Marseille Bowl Rippers, Chris, I think these women are just getting used to this format. Yeah, absolutely. You know, the jam format is most likely something pretty new to a lot of the uh, women skating today. I know that, uh, of course, Indiara, Lizzie, and Brighton all skate, you know, Vance Park Series, Poppy Star as well, skating a lot of international events. So they're used to having their own runs. So it's kind of cool to throw them into the lion's den here in a jam format final. Yeah, and I think this is where Maya and Alice may have a slight advantage because this is where they skate on a daily basis, you know? Yeah, and trust me, there's a lot of people in that ball at the same time every day. You know yeah, what I mean? 100%. <laughs> They're used to the Marseille chaos. Oh, yeah. Look at Lizzie, warding out of the extension into the hip. Nice one. Stamping that one down. And the backside air, this is going to start building her confidence there, taking the 50 50 to Fakie. Cruising over the teardrop. That was a cool line. Oh, we're going down on the front side. 50 50, Lizzie at Monto. So, Chris, do you think that Lizzie's maybe taking it a little bit easy and not really throwing the aggression that we like to see? Well, she had a front row seat to what Brian just did right there, so I don't think she has the. Got to wash off whatever kind of ease she was taking. Brighton starting to light things up now. You know, another thing we kind of haven't mentioned yet is a lot of these women are used to skating in best run counts format, so they're not used to changing their lines and taking multiple runs through parks in these jam formats. So we'll see how you know how much this time is taxing the riders right now. Yeah, for sure, changing up the format. And not being used to that and having to consistently throw down runs, Greg. And not just any run, like not just cruising around and hitting a few front side grinds. You've got to give it your all in this women's final. Yeah, and during six minutes. Because you said it earlier, you know, none of them pretty much are taking a break. No. Just kidding, like, full on for six minutes. It's hard to believe that Brian is only 14 and she seems to be dominating the course right now. Yeah. She's looking really easy, confident. She's stomping tricks after tricks. She's looking really good. And in the wow. is definitely behind her. She's over the hip of that front side, Ollie. Over the spine. Look at that sweet half part there. And Cruz over the back. Indiara has got a huge bag of tricks. I like the way she Ollie did. She's feeling very confident, just barging in this jam final. She's kind of taking a second to get her breath. But Lizzie Armato now taking advantage of a relatively empty park as uh, Lizzie 
just get things going. You saw Poppy Star Wilson just flying out of the deep end. So I think with 59 seconds to go, this is where it's going to be uh, just kind of throw everything at the wall and see, it, and see if it sticks. Yeah, then you see Poppy chucking that 270 backside over the hip. They are really starting to step it up now, Chris. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking at the judges right now. Their heads are absolutely on swivels as they're scanning the entire park. Every skater has had uh, plenty of opportunity. I feel like Brighton has spent the most time in the park with uh, Lizzie and Indy are right behind her. Yeah, I definitely think you're right there. Oh, and the kickflip Indy attempt. I really think that's going to change it up out there. I don't know. It could be maybe for one spot. Who knows? Lovely front side Smith grind right there. Four riders in the bowl. They want to yeah, nice take it all the way well. to the last 10 seconds. <laughs> A little bit of colliding. Three seconds.